What up, everybody? We're the normies back to continue watching this Chernobyl series by HBO. It's been fantastic so far, riveting, scary, kind of hard to watch. This is episode two. Please remain calm. Uh, it's been very hard on that aspect, I guess. Mark a substitute. This is not one. We're watching on HBO. You can too. Check out our uncuts on Patreon if you want. Supply your own copy. Watch on HBO again. But we're just going to dive in, guys. Uh, Runner did remind us that he killed himself. I, we forgot to talk about that in the discussion. Yeah. We don't really need to see his previous. We'll just talk about the previously. Yeah, so his was like a flash forward, right? Like yeah, yeah this, is, this is in the future. Of Tally Tally. But it wasn't his Whistle fault, blowing. though, right? I mean, he, he killed himself. He just uh, no, if he could, with the blame. We don't know what he's implicated in yet. Because he, he didn't he even know the information. We, well, we didn't see him get involved in the I episode. I thought he was in this room with this I think they're sending him to talk to the press. So For, whatever, From what so, we've seen, he doesn't seem like he's guilty of anything. No, he, he, yes. he wasn't even there, but he has to live with some terrible truth that, like... A mighty mint. Mighty mint. Don't Your just breath, have a shit. mint. <laughs> get a mighty mint. Mighty mint. <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of studios behind this. I mean, it's done really well, man. I mean, yeah, bro, shit, like, I'm sitting here. I think the shirt has like 98% on the computer. It's a pump. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a pump. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Damn, she's fucking on it. If only this type of person was working at the power plant. Yeah, you can see she's a female, which is awesome. You have more people like that in charge. I'm just saying, bro, for real. <laughs> Chess goes and burn points that seed, boy. What are you saying, bro? I remember a couple episodes ago, you weren't talking like that. <laughs> we'll bring Daenerys, that up, bring it up, look for it. Daenerys Targaryen, bro. <laughs> That's a difference. I need your fire. Reactor fuel. I need a sip of my reactor fuel. Yes, this is Orlando Fobio for the Institute of Nuclear. All right, stay calm. Title? Please remain calm. Who's the next closest? It's Chernobyl, but that's not possible. That's one to go into his way. And that's too far away. Yeah, something's up. Iodine. Gonna be a waste bomb. Iodine. Those girls all of them. You've seen that last year. You can't bomb. There's a part that's where half our people work on here. That's how they kept it under the lid. People work in another part of the world. I don't even know. And Bill, I was just part of the Soviet Union. Uh-oh. Don't go outside. Don't go outside. Don't go outside. Also, last episode, seeing like the firefighters collapse while they're trying to carry people out is very it was disturbing. Man. Well done. It was disturbing. Help none. Wow. These men deserve medals. What are you doing? What is that? No. Stop, stop. What are you doing? These are radiation birds. The clothes are contaminated. Are you wearing gloves? Is she wearing gloves? Oh my god. Let's take him out to the basement. That's him. him. They're all dead in the hospital now. They don't want to cause, pa they don't want to cause panic in the hospital. That's all. Oh my god, they're dead. They're all dead. Wait, is that a dog? Yes. Yes. Oh, it took me a minute without the old... We kept saying it was energy. Yeah, I know, no, I knew it was in the old man face. Like... Does he have to bold face lie or is he going to tell them the truth? Like. He's gonna tell them the truth, they're gonna tell him he's wrong. Yeah. Gorbachev! Mikhail Gorbachev! Look at his birthmark. And then we will discuss next steps, if necessary. They overdid that. No, no, no. Please do report that the situation in Chernobyl. Well, it seems like it's well in hand, sir. If there was nothing else, the meeting is. There was a two minute meeting. We can't judge. Professor, if you have any concerns, feel free to address them with me later. Is that Papa Skarsgård? Yeah, that is Stellan Skarsgård. Inside the core, it says graphite on the ground outside. It means it wasn't a control system tank that exploded. It was the reactor core. It's over. Okay. Yeah. Our general secretary can assure you that Professor Legasso is mistaken. Mm -hmm. The Connor reports that the reactor core is intact. Listen, Listen to this man. Listen. Every atom of U-235 is like a bullet. Every gram of U-235 holds over a billion trillion of these bullets. That's in one gram. Now, Chernobyl holds over three million grams, and right now it is on fire. Winds will carry radioactive particles across the entire <sighs> continent. Rain will bring them down on us. That's three million billion trillion bullets in the, in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. Yes, and uh, this concern stems entirely 
from the description of the rock. Listen to anything yes. you said. Please reiterate that it's graphite. Governor General Secretary, but I don't Do you know how a nuclear reactor works? No. Well, then how will you know what you're looking at? Right. Gorbachev sounds like a, a relatively smart cookie. <laughs> he was. Also, oh, maybe. it looks exactly like him. Kind of like Maybe no exaggerated. Nice. No, like that straight, straight wine spill. <laughs> straight wine spill. I need to see it. Chris needs to make a book of fun t-shirts. Straight wine spill. You look like some fucking caps off, man. You can tell that you're going to die. Have you guys ever been in a helicopter? No, I want to. Yeah. Is this scary, though? It's kinda, it's, I thought it was kind of, it was weird scary. It's like, it's like, just, you're dead. Okay, airplane too, but it's like the way it flies, it feels weird. Tell me how a nuclear reactor works or I'll have one of these soldiers throw you out of the head. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, bro, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> don't even look at me. I want uh, no eye contact. <laughs> Explain it for a normie. Which is exciting, guys. Listen close. The nuclear reactor makes electricity with steam. The steam turns a turbine which generates electricity. Nuclear plant. We use something called fission. We take an unstable element which has too many neutrons. The neutron is uh, the bullet. That I know. Yes, the bullet. I know the bullet. <laughs> so, bullet <laughs> At least he's trying to understand. Of the, yeah, dude. the bullets from one atom will eventually strike another atom. The force of this impact splits that atom apart, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. In our BMK reactors, we surround the fuel rods with graphite to moderate the neutron flux. So those rods yeah. just. I know how a nuclear reactor works. I don't need you. <laughs> Oh my god. You're dumb. We're gonna die. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna leave your dad. Oh boy, makes it two years at least. Listen to it, bro. Listen to it. You turn around. Oh. Jesus. Guys, okay, we, oh, we, uh, we've seen yeah. him alive in two years. I know, but still, <laughs> they're already close enough. No. Uh, I'm angry now. I'm still in Skarsgård. I always play like angry like role. <laughs> Yo, shout out to all them Skarsgårds, you fucking vampires. Hey. I'd like me to introduce you to Chernobyl. What do you know about Chernobyl? I know that the core is either partially or completely exposed. Well, whatever that means. And that if you don't immediately <coughs> issue iodine tablets and then evacuate the city, hundreds of thousands of people are going to get cancer, and God knows how many more will die. I prefer my opinion to yours. Before you were deputy secretary, you worked in a shoe factory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving all Andy my Sandberg? Oh, no. I'm giving all my friends a call, my family a call, so and we get the fuck out. Part of showing off to make it look bad. Doesn't matter how it looks, stupid as he is, pig head. Yeah, okay, you guys will get along fantastically then. We'll be fine. And everybody's like worried that they're all gonna be in fucking trouble, man. And it's like, you're gonna be dead. The whole country's in trouble, bro. I'll be your arrival. We've begun our own inquiry into the cause of the accident, and I have a list of individuals who we believe are. Don't worry. That's the important thing. Who did they throw under the bus? Why did I see graphite under? Graphite is only found in the core where it's used as a neutron flux moderator. Oh. Right? Follow me He's just looking for an excuse to get away. Graphite is the most powerful nuclear reactor in the world. Yeah, it's like nuclear fusion. 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 Yeah, it's like nuclear Oof. Regular Irwin. No, that'd be so fun to do. So, uh, the high, high capacity, capacity yeah. He's back. I'll get anywhere to that truck, bro. Yeah. What could possibly clean that? I mean, it's just the water that comes off of the radiated, but like the truck won't be anymore. No, it's not so long yet. It's fucking fast. Whoa. This core is open. Burn and spread its poison until the entire continent is dead. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so what Y'all done. So what had happened was... Y'all done. Yep, bye. And obviously we're going to need to evacuate an enormous area. Never yeah, mind that. Focus on the fire. I am focusing on the fire. Bro, this guy's been saving your ass. Where are you going? I'm going to get you 5,000 tons of sand and more. 
At least he's getting shit goddamn done, yeah. but fuck, man. But he's still treading lightly. Could it have really killed the continent if they didn't take care of it? Yeah. God, was Europe that fuck war? <laughs> the world might have been fucked. I prefer one of those. Oh, a double. Oscar. Are you here because of the fire? Anything we should be worried about? Yes. No. Now, if you see a man drinking that much as us, don't you gotta be lying. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Come on, sure. yeah, you gotta be lying. You're drinking so much, <laughs> then, bro. <laughs> I wonder how they're gonna, they're, they're gonna have to like aim it and like just like kind of. It's like, it's fuck. It's gonna be a few misses. Remind them about the perimeter. It's too close. They cannot go over the courts. I would think they have some close. He's in there, it's too close. Oh, oh my god. Tell them not to get too close to the fuck. Is there any other way that does Can they like cut the bullet? They have to like go. Like so, and like, then like, like drop it. It's, the, it's, it's gotta be a suicide mission. mission. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, like, if you can well, stop the chopper, the momentum should carry it. Theoretically. I don't think they're gonna do it the pot flew away. Yeah, he fucking bounced. Alright, fuck that. I was actually calling about our friend. Simka, who is 14, and little Boris, who is 5. Are you speaking in code? Yeah. Your children can. Confirmed. They're dropping sand and water on the fire. She has a better idea. Break up. Could it be? Chanel. What? You crazy? I'd wear a whole mask, a whole outfit. I was a mad suit. Not talking to anybody. Food. He's having a reality check, hopefully. <laughs> Alright. New clip on to Sweden has detected radiation. Oh, God. Sweet. The Americans took satellite photos. It's out there. The whole world knows. The wind has been blowing towards Germany. Not letting children play outside. You guys killed your own people. It's fucked up. Come on. One of the atomic reactors at the Chernobyl atomic power plant in the city of Kiev was damaged, and there is speculation in Moscow that people were injured and may have died. In the form of mild nuclear radiation had already reached beyond the Soviet borders to Scandinavia. Shit. I'm serious. I'm buying one at the house. What? I'm bullshit, bro. A what? A lead nuclear oh city. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's gonna come in handy, bro. Get some iodine tablets too. I'm buying that shit ASAP. I'm extra. At least there's a calm evacuation. I said turn around. This is a restricted zone. I'm from the Belarusian Institute for Nuclear Energy. Do you have permission? Listen to me, I need to speak to someone urgently. Turn around right now, or I'll arrest you. If you arrest me, you should take me to the highest possible authority. Are you right? Yeah, bro, I'm dying in five years, man, let me think. The guards arrested this woman. Oh, she's so smart. Smothering the call will put the fire out, but the temperature will eventually increase. It will melt down. Perfectly aware. But I estimate at least a month before it melts through the lower concrete pad, which gives us time. No, you don't have a month, you have approximately two days. It's going to burn through the biological shield here by Tuesday. It's going to hit these tanks, <coughs> bubble pools, reservoirs. Reservoirs will easy, yes. I understand your concern. So putting water into the core was not the right thing to do. I have ten minutes. Do you understand what's at stake? This is Olana Tomyuk of the Belarusian Institute. Thanks to her insight, we are now aware that the tanks are, in fact, full <coughs> of water. You know, why is that a problem? A significant thermal explosion. Everything within a 30 kilometer radius will be completely destroyed, including the three remaining reactors. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh the entirety of the and likely be fatal to the entire population of Kiev as well as a portion of Minsk. Oh god, the release yeah. of radiation and will impact all of Soviet Ukraine, <clears throat> Latvia, Lithuania, Belarusia, as well as Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, oh. Romania, and oh. most of East Germany. So the fucking continent died. Yeah, God. Continent. Impact. Steep increase in the rates of cancer and birth defects. I don't know how many deaths there will be, but many. Fuck. And how long before this happens? Approximately 48 to 72 hours. Shit. Too matter of fact. <laughs> they gotta, <laughs> you gotta take care of business, bro. We may have a solution, though. So we need to find three plant workers. Oh, no, this is the this facility is the story have to enter the basement here, find their way through all these ductways, get to the sluice gate valve here, and give us the access we need to pump out the tanks. 
we're asking for your permission to kill three men. This doesn't sit right. Fuck. Has to be done. Yeah, that gotta be done, yeah. gotta be done. This, this is what we should think. Comrade Vigasso. This regime has killed way more, so... All victories inevitably come at a cost. It's like everyday bread for them. Yeah, I don't think Gorbachev cares too much about that. Gorbachev was actually one good leader for yeah. this regime, but... <laughs> Still sucks ass. This is some of the craziest shit ever, man. So, so like, I mean, bro, they did it though. Like, do you, do you send three people away with misinformation, or do you just tell they them? They definitely had to lie to them. Right? I mean, I just pick probably like. I'm sure people would volunteer. I'm sure some people would volunteer. Yeah, I feel like you should tell them. Yeah. That's it. <coughs> well, oh, the radioactive strays. This is the Swiss gate valve here. The valve will be the difficult here. to operate, so we'll need three men who need to know the basement layout. And of course, any volunteers will be rewarded. Lies! You don't know how contaminated it is. I don't have an exact number. You don't need an exact number to know who will kill us. <laughs> Why should we do this? For what? 400 people? You'll do it because it must be done. But if you don't, millions will die. I'm making my peace with it. How you make yours. Jesus. That fucking chills rough. <laughs> That's why you make some big bucks. On an ankle. There's Pilo. Fucking heroes. All right. Would you guys volunteer? If I had kids, nope. Nope. Shit, that's the reason to volunteer, bro. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I would ask them to like kill me though in a peaceful way afterwards, because you don't want to die from radiation. That shit sucks. Like, oh, oh, demons. Well, yeah, the thing is, I, 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 I think it's a one-way mission, man. I don't, I, I don't think they come back. I think, no, I think they can come back. Yeah, 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 but they're going to die in a week. So if that's the case, I'd rather just go right away. One of them, I think, is going to make it back, though. <laughs> Fucking heroes. Good luck, Sydney. Yeah, shout out to our editor. Sid Dog? <laughs> Nuclear water all over. You don't want to make a mistake. I just turned the scimitar off at that point. It's like clicking faster and faster and faster. This is like so nerve wracking, bro. I know, this It's gonna break. I'll just soon. turn it off. Yeah, man, I wouldn't even want to hear that. I mean, yeah. Oh, they need to know when they're right under it, though. Shit, all right, y'all. How y'all doing? Damn, Craig. How many fucking credits you got? Bro. Bro. I'm not okay. Man, they, this is a really, really well done show. Like, phenomenally done. After that rousing speech and everything, and them volunteering bravely. But I think they're going to figure it out because that's... That, that is, I think like, they're dead, Mickey. <laughs> no, but I, I know. I mean, they're not dead yet. I mean, they're. No, I think they're, those guys are dead. I no, they're, they're, they're not dead yet. You, you think they're gonna have to send another the, team? The, the, it's, it's pitch it dark. Destroyed yeah, it was the solid. light. Yeah, they uh, can't what, see a thing in their radiation. But did they say those three people actually were like actually mm-hmm. saved from most? We don't know. He don't know history, bro. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if that team or like if they sent another team in. But 
Well, well, we know that uh, the radiation was so strong that it destroyed the light. Yeah. The light is glass metal. I don't know, you know. But and they just went silent. They w- They had rubber hazmat suits. Nah, the silence was yeah, an editing choice. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they made it. I, I'm hoping that at least they opened one of the tanks, if anything. But uh, they'll probably have to send one. Yeah. I mean, they can like feel around it. The su- the sudden silence was just an editing choice. They didn't. Mm. They didn't just die. Like, I don't think they die, <laughs> but I don't think they're coming out. Oh, I, I don't think they're coming out either. But I, I don't, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Out, but they're gonna, yeah. they're gonna figure out those gates. Shout out to Shabina. I don't, know, I don't know if it's that team or some yeah, other team. Bathroom, Deputy Shabina with that speech it was cool, man. I, it was like, yeah. I have to go to the bathroom. Like, we're, we're gonna do it because it's gotta be done, and like millions of people are gonna die. Like, I mean, yeah, it has to be done. Who else was gonna? Who are the do fucking it? heroes so, in this room? What's that lady? Spulana? Is, is that her name? Uh, she had a light. She had three long ass names. I don't remember. <coughs> first name the was physicist it, wasn't it Alana? I think it might have been the lady from uh, the, Minsk. Minsk. Yeah, what's her name? I don't, yeah, know. I don't remember. He, she saved the world. Yeah. yeah. She's a fucking hero. Good thing she. I'm looking up her name. Went up, drove over there. Uh, thankfully, people actually took her to the right authorities. You know, thankfully she didn't. It didn't take her long to get to where Were she they? needed to yeah. be. Sure she was like, if you arrest me, you need to take me to the highest office possible. Thank you. Because if you're an officer working there, what what else would you do? Like, this person is crazy enough to go towards yeah. that area. And she's might as well listen to what she's saying. Yep. Yeah. The fact that she, like, they just opened the window and she realized immediately what was going on in the first episode. Yeah, well, because, like, the, the meter went off. Yeah, it's Ulana. Ulana, Kromyuk, Kromyuk. Like, that's, that's when she, like, she immediately, like, dude opened the window and the thing went off. And she was like, well, that's not right. She's like, if it was a leak, like... Should have been going off. Oh you open the window, God. it's in the air. Like, that's... She's smart, man. And she did what she had to do to, like, put herself in the place so that like, she could make this a change. Really, but, that was how to, like, have my heart, like, stop continuously. Like, like. That was a, some kind of ending right there. Nikki, can you check the minutes on the card? Oh, we got a lengthy discussion still to have. 27-minute long discussion. You don't have to have it that long. I, was, I thought it was, like, five, to. Um, No, man, it's, um... Another really good episode. I like her as a character, too, just because she's, like, super smart. She gets there, and she's talking with old boy, and she's like, I know what you're doing. Like, just straight off of the science. Like, oh, yeah. the yeah. science has told me the facts. Like, I know yeah. that, and who that's did, wild. Who does she have set up with the, 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 the secret codes and everything? Like, she called uh, she called Moscow. But she works as, all right, so she works in a Soviet bloc, and she works as a nuclear physicist. I'm assuming what they're telling us is that all nuclear physicists were able to call Moscow to get like secret information because they would have been working for the state. You know what I mean? You know, you know what really made me mad? They all had like a secret language set up. Everything yeah. for us. Oh, this is so cool. You know what made me really mad is that like they just like refuse to listen to the experts. Like they just refuse to listen yeah, to them. Yeah, because you have a fucking shoe shiner running a city. I, <laughs> like, I it just it, it, it just completely <laughs> baffled me on that. They like yeah, refuse. To have to listen to like on both that I mean even from the yeah, beginning of the even, even from the beginning of the show like they refused to listen to the scientists. What do you call it again? Uh, what's, what's that? That's because Doc? like who's the main? Do- who's that? What's that mean? Uh, Legasov, whatever. The yeah. doctor. Legasov. He was literally in there. He was like, no, no, no. Like listen to me. And they still like it, just think about how many more lives could have been. Same. I know, but to them it was about, more about face and lives. They're trying like, yeah, they but like, they're trying like, like the, the no part. calls, everything. The Americans literally have to take satellite it's pictures. It's what right said anything. <laughs> and, and, and the thing that makes me mad, and literally, the dude sat down and was like, Germany won't allow their children to play outside anymore. And then he looked outside. And then he looked outside and he was like, what the fuck am I doing? It's like... The thing is, he was listening to other people. That was yeah. not his, like... He, eventually, he started making his own choices, but he was listen, listening to the commands that he was told to do. And obviously, they're all trying to stay safe and everything. So Gorbachev said something that was really good and important. He was like, uh, our power comes from our perceived power. And he's like, do you understand how this makes us look? Do you understand, like, what this has caused? Because, I mean, real talk, the Soviet Union is not around anymore. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, He's like, this is... Gorbachev, he was, like, the, the man to dismantle. What was he now? I mean... I, didn't, I mean, I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, he was the last one. Oh, well, the shit. What I was saying, <laughs> I had no idea, is that, like, uh, power of a country comes from perceived power, and, like, he knows that, and he knows that, like, this is a stain on their fucking... I mean, here we are in 2019 still talking about people making movies, but it's a stain on their fucking reputation, and... You don't want that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You don't want those mistakes because it's a big deal and other countries can see you as weak. I was yeah. happy to see those two assholes dismissed. They're like, fuck you, you guys aren't trying to help the problem at all. The 
what are they, Foman and Bruschetta? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're taking, like, all right, your job is done. Yeah. I hope they don't shoot him. Job so I hope they don't shoot really. I hope they just kind of let him live. Because you're going to die anyway. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them was Foaming. Foaming was one of so, them. So, the other guy was, it sounded, it looked like Bruschetta. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think Foaming was the one with the glasses. Uh, yeah, Foaming. Caddy Wop with the shoe shiner running the city. Is that how they ran shit in the old communist days? You, you're hard work well, and you just get promoted to some so, ridiculous. So, you know, like in communism, you like value work. Hard work, you value manual labor. Mm-hmm. Um, like it's like the workers' party, um, workers' state. So I mean, I mean that that's all. Like he's just hearing it. You think that's cool, but you know, in reality, you have like people in power who should not be in power, and like, but that that happens with with our world too. I mean, like we have like somebody who is a minister of whatever, like minister of defense, who is a fucking artist or something, you know what I mean? Like, people who are in places of power, they shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But in that society, it was way more rampant because you had, like, people who had no education and were just, like, worked with their hands most of their lives, and I'm not shitting on that, but you shouldn't be running a city if you were, if you, if you were selling shoes your entire life or shining shoes. That's just common sense and that used to be happening but you know and he kind of helped fuck it up but at least old girl was like about getting shit and like of course i mean if you acquire if you acquire such powers from being the like the lowest in society (coughs) obviously it's gonna get in your head and obviously you're on a fucking power trip and then like every every second leader was like that but what um first of all i want to say that this is really hard for me to watch because the city looks like my city. It has a population of 50,000 people, which is the population of my city. Um, and I realized a very sad fact that um, if, my, if my grandmother was never t- taken... <laughs> my grandmother... I was born in mid, um, Kiev. She was taken by the Germans in the Second World War, and that's how she ended up in the Czech Republic. And if that never happened to her, I would probably not be born, because she would probably still be there. She was in Germany? Well, she was in Germans. Kiev. I she mean, was she Kiev. was born in Kiev. Germans took her to so, so yeah. and she was taken by the Germans to she worked in, she was in a work work camp something like she could during the Second World War and she, and she ran away and she settled in the Czech Republic with my grandfather but she was born in fucking Kiev she was never taken by the Germans and like radiation fucked she up would your be DNA there. so yeah, yeah it's like, like all, genes, and all, and sure, all sorts of shit and Got. everything happens for a reason yeah. I mean it's fucked up obviously still what happened but it's, you're here. God. I'm so sorry for that. Yeah, this show is really hard I'm to watch. I'm so sorry, Marketa, but, but honestly, it's, it's you're really here now today. You know what I mean? They just show something else, man. Like, so, what you're saying is... It's, like, very accurate. Yeah. Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec could never be in a position of political power? <laughs> no. Is that what you're if Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec worked his way towards said political power, yes. But if he went from being shoe shiner to Leslie Nope, he would ruin the city. Yes. I feel like we it would be hilarious to watch, but we all know that that's a, it'd be Ice Town. You know? Can you just watch the rest of this? <laughs> He's trying to lighten the mood a little. Um, that, I think I don't know oh, if we have no, that was great. I mean obviously not great to it's it's the personal story to, like the fact that you wanted to share crazy. that with us is there that's that's nice Thank you for sharing. I'm glad I'm glad it happened even though it's fucked up and I'm glad you're here. Yeah, like, I don't know how I feel about this information now that I found out. <laughs> yeah, it's all, like, <laughs> God, it's gotta be fucking with you. I'm very conflicted. He just found that out? I mean, I didn't realize that Chernobyl Kiev was so close, close to mm. Kiev. Well, Kiev, sorry. Mm. Yeah, God. All of it, man. No, you're good. No, I want your friends just at Chernobyl to visit. They were not in Chernobyl, they were in Kiev. Wow. <laughs> You should, have you been there before? <laughs> no. You should go one day. Let's go to Pripyat. <laughs> you should go one day. Let's there. not go to Pripyat. 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 Pripy
Um, Los Pina. But it's uh, it's cool. I, I'm glad that like everybody's at least like learning this because, I mean, it's it's a part of history. It's a part of nuclear history, and it's a part of our history. And it's good that we're kind of like this story's getting humanized. You know what I mean? There's been plenty of other stories it's throughout history that have a hard time. Sixty-two miles. Sixty-two miles. A lot of other stories yeah. to history have been humanized, and like it's good that this story is getting stretched too. Not just like what, like the Chernobyl Diaries was like a fucking yeah, you know, that was like a horror a movie. bullshit teen horror movie. This, this is like it's like, good that it's getting depicted it's this way. It's not in bad taste. It's not it's not tasteless. It's it's being depicted very professionally mm. and accurately by HBO. Yeah. I don't get any vibes of like I mean like you see these movies like Pearl Harbor, yeah. Titanic, and, and it feels like it's, Dunkirk. It's Hollywood. This is this is just this, this is, is what happened. Being the rest of the by situation people. people try to it's make very, from this. Yeah. Very information. And, there, and there's a lot of like uh, details in this show that like uh, are, are making sense with the documentaries I've seen. Like they, yeah. they always show like piles of clothing in like classrooms and like gas masks. And I, I was I was wondering, I was like, what is that about? And, like it's like obviously it's like that was radiated, so they were just piling well, up the clothing. So it's, it kind of feels like Dunkirk with that score and with the like mm. tense and the unease in it. Dude, but like where Dunkirk's or... a fucking movie and you're like, all right, well, the movie's over. This shit, like every episode, it's like, fuck. And it just kind of, it ramps up it's that it's tension it's... and it <laughs> makes you feel that urgency, but like also the urgency is futile because like, it's like once you're there, you're fucked. And like, they've got the urgency to get things done and at least they were like thinking about, they're like, this is going to ruin Europe. This is, I like how old girl was like, it's going to threaten the Soviet Union. And they're like, oh, fuck. Like, you're right. Like, we got to, the whole country, the whole, whole shit's fucked. Like, we got to get on it to um, get the problem yeah. solved. And then one more thing I want to point out is the hypocrisy of them saying, trying to get those volunteers by say by offering them a promotion yeah. and 400 fucking rubles. $400? You, that's it? No, rubles. 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 Way less I than thought, I thought, um, I thought that was a significant amount. My mistake. I mean, it, it, you cannot pay for life. But what I'm saying is... I mean, is, if you know they're going to die, at least to give to their families. Give it to, yeah, but that's no. not what they said. They were literally saying, yeah, you will they, get a promotion. Yeah, they were lying to them. Oh, yeah. uh, I, so, I assume that, damn, well, that makes his speech so more... to me, uh, like, you know, for, for a, a, a regime that, end quote, values its manual labor yeah. to just throw people under the bus like that. And, like, it, th- this reminded me of... Like, I mean, that's hypocritical as fuck, but it also reminded me of what's happening... What's happened actually yesterday was a very good thing that it happened. Finally, the uh, first responders of September 11th yeah. got insurance that they need yeah. um, by, by, by the state. And, I mean, that's ridiculous. Like, when I saw John Stewart talking about it, I'm like, how the fuck do they not have insurance? What are you talking about? The, the first, first responders, responders um, the they were fighting to get, like... A, uh, in, uh, to, to, to be able to cover their uh, medical expenses because, because they keep suffering. Because of all the shit that they inhaled yeah. when it, the like, attacks happened. Like, so many people already died. It's been 18 years, and they now just got their fucking insurance. So really? to, like, literally, that just means that, like, like they don't have shows to cover like their medical bills now, but they have, like, yeah. The show's showing Medical how like the, the Soviet roof. Union fucked up, and we are always like all high and mighty. Like it's yeah. not possible for us, and it is. But it has fucking happened. Like, yeah. Same shit I, happens I, I today. Think, I think that scene in our country. I think that scene where wild. he made that speech. I, th- I think it was kind of like a unspoken truth in there because like they were lying to them, but I think that they they were they weren't stupid. They were only talking to the people that know the layout of the building, and he's like. You can't even give us a number. Like this is gonna kill us. Like they weren't yeah. stupid. 15. So I think by that point, like everybody knew what was up, but it just wasn't like said. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I think that that's where they were going with it. Like mm-hmm. that guy that was raising those concerns. He just yeah. wanted at least to be told the truth. Yeah. Like they obviously all knew that is what it is. Yeah. But the fact that they didn't even have the guts to tell them that's just yeah that's shitty as that's well. just so you bad you're like hey volunteer and we'll make sure your family's set up and stuff. That, that's, that's beyond like, that's the word you're, you're, like, you're like to describe what that is yeah. yeah question real quick in the helicopter first of all that helicopter uh, that was you, so cool god what the hell so cool but he like did the new did the ship do something to the helicopter or did the guy i think it did so i think it would have did something to him and and electronics oh yeah oh the flashlights the flashlights yeah so oh, like, fuck show. dude, he was like, "Don't go, man." And <laughs> do you remember when, uh, when he was in the, he was like, "Dude, he's got flyover to look at." He's like, "If we fly over that shit, you're gonna be wanting to be dead in the morning." Mm-hmm. They would have died. Like, I it's know that he's out for his own self preservation, but he already knows that he's got like five years left okay. at the most. But like, it's good to see that like he, he like he's been validated in front of the other dude. Yeah. Like he can look at that helicopter and he's like, 
if that, that, that was almost us. You wanted to do that. <laughs> like, and it was just like him, you know, he's like, you got to listen to me because, like, I'm keeping this alive and I'm also trying to solve this fucking problem. Yeah. yeah. They're That's... a good duo now. Now they work together. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, like, he's I'm the hammer. That he's actually being of assistance and not just another conflict. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, guys. This is a. Uh, oh, last something. thing. Yeah. Last, last thing. When uh, she said, nothing like this has ever happened on the planet before. Yeah. Like, that should be. He said that. Thing. Yeah. It's, that's wild because it's like, yeah. think about the shit. Like, it rained for like a million years or some shit. Like, all these crazy things have happened mm-hmm. on the planet. And like, we came along and we're like, how about we put these things that ain't supposed to be by each other? And <laughs> like, we just figured some shit out. And we're like, well, probably shouldn't have done that, but figure it out at least. So. Wow. Fuck. It's wild. Great. Let us know in the comments what you think about the show so far. Please let us know. Was your heart let us hurting? Know. Were you like, oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, learning how a reactor works was pretty cool. Oh yeah. yeah was really cool. If you'd like to know how a reactor works, you can find us on the Discord and we can chat about our daily lives and what we do here at the studio. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. My gosh, what an ending to episode two of Chernobyl, everyone. If you are enjoying our reaction of this series, please hit the like button and do comment down below your thoughts while you were watching this. Once again, a big shout out to all of our super patrons, Luis, Joe, Nasser, Markio, Chelsea Collins, Gino, Adam, Kelly Parks, Keyboard Junkie, NYR Fan, and Philip. And we'll see you guys next time.